it's Project SBC and today I'm going to show you how to disable the built-in controller on your iNeo. This also works with your GPD-1.3 or 1X player, but I think it's most prevalent on the iNeo because there is no mouse mode on this. So I'm going to show you how to disable the controller so you can use an external controller and it'll be player number one and you don't need to restart at all. So this is a technique that I developed and uh, let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to switch over to the uh, internal screen capture so we can go from there. So go ahead and download the latest of my Power Control app. So you'll find the zip file down here. Once you've downloaded it and extracted it to your directory of choice, I want you to go in and I want you to open up the controller debug folder and I want you to double click that handle 64.exe and it's going to ask you to accept the terms. Once you do, the power control app will be able to function with this exe and we can disable the controller. So after you've done that, go ahead and start my power control app and I want you to go to the settings and I want you to go to debug, controller debug, and it's gonna pop up with the screen here. So you'll see that the controller one is connected, that's what it detected. Now we're gonna go to device manager and we are going to copy and paste the information for the controller into this form. So let's go down to Xbox 360 peripherals and let's grab the properties. Let's go to details. And let's start with the physical device object name. Nope. So we're going to copy this. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste that. All right, so we've got the physical device object name in there. Let's go get the class GUID. Once again, we're going to copy and paste. And last, we're going to get the device instant path. Go ahead and copy that. And paste it. So now we've got those three values in there. I'm going to hit save values just so that it keeps it in the background. Now the next part of this is going to actually be, dis be disabling the controller. When you do this, please make sure that if you have things like Steam open that you close those or any kind of games that are using it. So Windows operating system loves to take up USB resources and it ties them to a process. Now that Handle64 is capable of closing those resources, but some resources like Steam almost immediately grab that resource back, and when you go to disable it, it's not quick enough to disable the controller before that resource captures the USB device again. So things like Steam are horrible for this. You have to close Steam before you use it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and disabling the controller right now. I already have Steam closed. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So it is asking for me to close some of these things. It wants me to close the Xbox Stat EXE and WinStore app. And it looks like it wants me to close the Ubisoft as well. So let me go ahead and close those out. All right, so I've gone ahead and closed those. I'm going to hit yes. Let's see what happens. And there we go. The controller is now disabled. So it's not perfect. 
it does require that you close some of the things that are using the controller but it can't get everything and it is capable of closing out some things like the Windows desktop manager um, but that is that for this software here I know it's not the most prettiest interface I'm gonna to get to that in my next revision of this software so please stay tuned for that but otherwise for people who want to dock their INEO this is a wonderful solution to get their um, internal controller disabled so they can use an external controller without having to restart so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button maybe even subscribe and thanks for watching